First class news. Yeah. Hey, there is a math competition going on today. Good luck to those participating. Uh, U of M Dearborn is also coming to DLSL today. So if you want to speak to them about admissions and college related things, U of M Dearborn will be here today. Uh, let's go cut it to the interview with Miss Nager. Hello, we're here with Miss Nager and she is this month's Teacher of the Month. All right, so Ms. Nature, how did you get this recognition? Well, I believe, uh, Christian, that my peers uh, nominated me for Teacher of the Month, which is an extremely uh, incredible honor. I feel very lucky to have done enough uh, good things here that people uh, have recognized what I'm doing. Yes, Christian. How long have you been at De La Salle? Uh, this is my third year teaching at De La Salle, and I teach English. Cool stuff. All right. Uh, what is your favorite part? Oh, Oh, yes, Christian. Thank so you always raise your, your hand. hand. Okay. What's your favorite part of DLSL? I think my favorite part uh, about working at DLSL is that I not only get to teach young men English, which I'm very passionate about, but I get to teach them how to better grow into well-rounded young adults. And that's a good way to put it. What clubs do you do during Power Hour, if you do any? Uh, that is a great question, actually. Uh, Mr. Dudas and I just started the book club this year. We meet every day one and day four during the first half of Power Hour. Uh, the book we are reading right now is The Shining. Oh! And we are always accepting new members if anyone wants to join. We have a great time. And we have snacks. All right, make sure to join the book club. It's nice to meet to you. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. Let's go back to the studio. Uh, thanks, Ms. Nager, Teacher of the Month. And now, uh, it's the time to inform you that ACT prep is going on day seven during Power Hour B. So if you need help with the ACT, go there. Now let's cut it to the weather. Good day, my great audience. I am Meriwether Amphone, and welcome to the second week of First Class News Weather. For Tuesday, October 2nd, the day will be mostly cloudy with a few showers and a high of 72. Some rain will pass throughout the day, so be aware. On Wednesday, it'll be a little warmer, with a little bit of sun and no rain. It's most likely that this will be the best weather we're gonna have all week. Thursday, we'll see a couple of morning showers, but aside from that, it'll just be another cloudy day. And I'm sure some people will be just fine with that. While I'm not too happy that this is another week without much variety in the sky, at least we are getting some different weather than last week. Well, I hope the week goes well for everyone. Keep those grades up, do well on the tests, and keep it safe. See you all next week. I'm Meriwether Amphone. Front desk, back to you. How's it going, guys? I'm here with your scores this weekend. Varsity Football beat U of D 41-20, and their score right now is 5-1. to That's great. Also, varsity soccer beat Stevenson 1-0. Their, their record is 11-3-3. Great work. Now to Moss with student life. Hello, pilots. There's no school this Friday, but we do have a purple and gold day Thursday, and we're following a PLC schedule. The first quarter ends October 19th. Be sure to have all missing assignments in and keep those grades up. And now, let's cut to the Student of the Month, Joe Zinda, outside the school. Now we're here with Student of the Month, Joe Zinda. How are you liking the school year so far, Joe? Um, it's going pretty well. Power hour is fun. Uh, I get real productive and uh, get work done during it. Well, that's very lovely. Uh, you're also a member of the football team, so tell me, how do you think that season's going so far? Season's going real well. We uh, just came off a win from St. Mary's. We have, uh, we're playing the Cubs this Friday. So that'll be a good game. I hope to see everyone there. Great. And lastly, tell me, what does it mean to be Student of the Month to you? Uh, well, it just kind of shows that people are realizing the hard work that students put in, and they recognize those that are working hard and trying to make an impact on the school. Well, beautiful. Thanks, Joe. That was super interesting. Happy October, everybody. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter, at DLSFCN. And thank you. This has been the news. I'm Alex Moss. I'm Christian Dean. Follow us on Twitter and keep it fly, pilots. <laughs>